What's up, y'all? Trispy here, and today we will be starting The Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. Now, this is one of my favorite RPGs on the PS2. I've been watching Ring of Power. You know, I'm getting hyped. So I figured I'd come and revisit this and uh, give y'all something to watch. Now, let's start. I'm playing on medium. Uh, no reason to play it on easy. That's too easy. And hard is just... I don't the feel like struggling. So, here we are. Changing. The beauty of the elves fades. It passes into ledger, into myths, into dreams. The now I'm excited. Uh, this game has evil mode. Every time you beat a chapter, you can go back in that chapter and play as the enemies that you fought, like the boss kind of fights. And it's actually pretty fun. I can't even lie to y'all. In a region long ago, the elves were given secret knowledge to forge great rings of power. They were precious beyond all else. It's Galadriel, right? Each was bound the strength and will to rule. But they were deceived. For the giver of this knowledge was Evil's great servant, Sauron. In the fires of Mordor, <clears throat> he forged in secret. One ring to rule the all. And with it, Sauron enslaved the races of Middle-earth. But not all light diminished, for some stood fast. Let's go! Wrecking them. Now this is too loud. Comment below and I can turn the game volume down and uh, test it. This is the first video, so we'll be testing a little bit. I'm so excited to play this. It would be cooler if you could play this fight in the game. Like this very first one, that would be so dope. Uh-oh. Because I think in the, the what, the... From hands. Yeah! In the Return of the King, I think you can play as, like, the very first fight. I can't remember, though. Isildur, ruler of all free men, performed this deed. Isildur. He was always super cool. But he became weak, and the line of men failed. The ring escaped him as history became legend. Legend became myth. And things that should not have been forgotten were lost. The little hobbit finds it. I can't remember his name, it's Gollum, but I can't remember his actual name. Look at Gollum's little freaky ass. Thus the Third Age of Middle-earth began. But the realms of man divided, and their great cities weakened. And in this age, the evil powers again arise. Yet some hoped for unity in the face it's of the coming round, darkness. Right? To Rivendell, the elves called the greatest of all races. With them came Boromir, son of Gondor's steward. And there, at the Council of Elves, a great and desperate plan was conceived. Join us in our quest. Face the power of Mordor. And help to turn the tide. Oh, we shall. 
Welcome, warrior of Gondor. Your road here will not be an easy one. Much will be risked in the war that is to come. But you now, sorry will if it's a little just foggy. It looks a little foggy. I don't know if it's just because of the emulator or what. But I think it'll get better as the game goes on. Because it does seem a little like blurry. Stand aside, creature. You are in my way. I thought I turned subtitles on, by the way, so sorry about that. I'll have to do that again. Go into the settings. Oh, no, that looks perfect. I think it's just that specific scene. Wow, this looks beautiful on the P playing on the PC. Neat. One shot. I may just got taken out. I'm beating the bikes off me. Return to the shadow, slave of Sauron. Go ahead, Adriel. I see you. I see the aspect ratio messing up. Let it pass to him. Let him be spared. To you I bestow this gift of my people. There you if go, I think that should fix it. The hearts of others. I just gotta figure out the kinks of this little uh, emulator while we play. Really, my lady. What favor I think I, I fixed you? it. There is no time. Hurry, we must find your equipment and heal your wounds. And we're gonna try to 100% this, so yeah. Actually, we will 100% this. There's no way I'm not. Here you will travel across Middle Earth, find items, and battle groups of foes. Yeah. Sure, we'll view these. Yes, my friend, I have marked you upon the long road from Minas Tirith. You come to Rivendell at the bidding of Lord Denethor. Your great captain, Boromir, has been summoned north, and you ride in his shadow. Yet others are aware of his mission, for a great evil has arisen in the east that threatens all of Middle Earth. A sinister force has and been sent in pursuit of your lord. But now it has found you. I I'm really vibing with that. Chest, we gotta get that later. Everything's inverted, that's a kind of annoying. Okay, let's get to it. Who's excited? I'm excited. Man, yeah, I have got to change these. There you go. I literally just inverted it and, and it it didn't change. That's awesome. That's fine. Now for this game, when you use a sword skill, it um it essentially you'll see, you'll see right here. Company might plus one SP leadership. You have to use skills in order to get um new skills like you just don't get them by leveling up you actually have to use them in order to get the next skill in the tree i'll actually go to the tree right now and show you
Yep, this is teaching you right here. Let's see. Skills. Swordcraft. Orc Bane would be the next one, and you would have to get five uses. Company Valor. Five uses. Passive skills. Those are automatic. Perfect mode. That's from perfect mode. Now her, we want to basically use her spirit powers. She's a healer, as well as... Okay, they should be inverted. There you go. I think I think this is it. Yeah, I don't know. It says to go right, so we will go left. Treasure chest and uh, another fight. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go. She's almost out of AP. That's fine. Probably should have got rid of him first. Ooh. Oh, damn. The beginning is going to be a bit difficult because we have like no AP and stuff like that. No, no, no uh, items, nothing good. Now, and I think when you level up, how do I look at the? The actual map. I don't think you can look at the actual map. Hmm, okay. Okay, stats. Um, we're going to do. He's a strength character. She is spirit. All spirit. I might have to go back down here and to the right, actually, because I think I went the wrong way. And by the wrong way, I mean the right way. It's chugging right here, sorry. See, let's look and see. I gotta get used to these inverted camera controls. It's pretty irritating. Okay. And that's one thing about this game, you're gonna have to go into your menu often because basically every chest you get is gonna have a different piece of equipment in it. And that equipment is essential, so you're gonna have to just keep menuing. Like you can see a chest right here, get something, see the chest up here, and have to menu again. But, oh well. It is what it is, right? I heard a voice. On the road. Yes, I know. Who could it? Patience. I'm looking for Boromir of Gondor. Have you seen him? No. But I do see orcs ahead. And here we are. Um, I will have her use loud water on this orc warrior. They're the ones that are gonna do the most damage. He needs to go bye-bye immediately. These guys aren't too bad. Ooh, nice crit. Nice double crit, woo! Okay. I see you, Barathor, you're not playing today. Lemmas and King's Foil, it's basically like a potion. Alright. Gonna go over here to the far left, get this chest. Slime of Orthanc, that's actually a really good item. I think it, if I'm not mistaken, renders the enemy's defense to zero or something. I don't know, I don't remember honestly. But I remember using it for the final boss. 
He was super annoying. All right. Sorry, I'm still getting used to these fucking inverted controls. Your wounds must be healed. Weapons, provisions. The elves are very resourceful. Long have we kept such way stations for times of great need. I am Berethor, captain of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. And I am Idriel. I serve Galadriel, Lady, Lady of, of Light. Light. Take what you need and let us be on our way. We. This music is just nostalgic. Look at all these chests. Ooh, noise. Okay. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And it actually... Your equipment actually changes. What was it doing? Stats? Oh, you can co-op? What? I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm basically just pouring everything into that. That's all you need to do right now, if I'm being honest with y'all. Oh, this is the wrong way. Got a little turned around, did I? Those crows who guided us. Murder of crows. It is the hand of Isengard. The white, the white wizard, wizard has betrayed us. us. Hurry! No, don't run. Go back. Um, I'm not gonna watch those scenes. They're annoying. It's it's just scenes of the movie. If you really want to watch? You can. Yep. See, this is why you gotta explore, y'all. We're doing 100. percent Look at this. Ooh, you little miss some armor and do that. There are a lot of chests in this area. Holy crap! What shows are better? Oh, there it is. You can just press X. They have no chance. Help me defend them. Damn. He just hit the shit out of me. Now the one you want to KO first is the one with that banner because he just gave them a bunch of buffs and that's no bueno. So we're getting rid of We need to get rid of him. Body too. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all, mate. Do company might increase our attack. Curse of Orthanc. I wonder what that does to my party. I wonder how to check their stats. Like, there was a button I saw that you could press. And, um... Oh, there you go, X, okay. Curse of Orthanc, okay. I don't know what it does, but it does something. I might be able to one-hit KO this one. Oh, damn, okay. Now, Idril will more than likely be able to just loud water Fury, the one in the middle. That's probably something defense oriented. Honestly, I have no. Oh, it's speed, I think. Yep, 
Yes, goodbye. And we have no AP. <laughs> That's fine though. I can't even use Orc Bane, damn, okay, this is fine. Phew. We're gonna level up from this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Mink. I hate regular attacking because it's just you're losing a possible skill, you know what I mean? Like like a, a, an experience for your skill. Even if it's just one, it adds up towards the end. Idriel, Barathor, noise. They will trouble you no longer. You have found him. What do you mean by that? It is nothing. Hasten to Rivendell. I have cleared the road for you. I am grateful, but you must return now to the passes. We saw evidence of recent battle there. Come, Gondorian. Some may still survive. She always running. Ooh, yeah. No, I do not view those. They're just way too long. Put this new sword on. Yeah, it looks cool. Nice. And that's a lot. That's a lot of stats and just going up. And you can change like what kind of you can press L1 and change what character you're actually running with. Now I will go back down here because it put us way too far forward. You have to backtrack sometimes because the game just puts you in like a weird spot. Yeah, I remember you guys, the wild men. Nope, wrong one. Yep. Dunland. Ooh, nice miss, boy. I could use Lembas or something and get her some uh, AP, but she's going to level after this battle anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to use her for most, if not all, of the game. So she'll she'll get her AP eventually. Oh, bro! That's why I... Uh, I thought you, she would have wiped that one. These guys are a bit strong, by the way. So beware. Especially if you're on hard mode. There you go. One of three warbands. Yeah, that's a side mission. Um, was there something to equip? I can't remember what it was. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna use some items. Okay, we should be good now. And there are three warbands, so we're gonna have to get two more. And all we're doing is backtracking from where there's gonna be one right here. You can see all the fires. Yep. They're usually by the chests. I have to get this big boy out of here. Mink. Let's see. Mm, let's do this. Would have been better if I did this before I used her Loudwater Fury at first. And I'm actually gonna save some AP for her because she might need to heal Barathor soon or herself. Yeah, she's gonna heal Barathor. Oh my god! 
Oh, that is an impeccable miss. Oh my god, what? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is awesome. We needed those misses. Good, that was gone. Alright, girl, I'm gonna need you to heal. Thank you. Oh, these misses are insane. And I'm loving it. Ah! I was hoping I could get him down. Yeah, this early game is going to be pretty difficult because they kind of just throw you in. And like I said, she's she's like a healer. She's like a white mage, basically. But her loud water fury is like a oh, holy. I think we're gonna level after this anyway, so we're gonna heal. In Barathor, I think you, you're gonna use him the entire game. He's such a versatile character with his party-wide buffs and his damage that he can pump out. You're gonna want him the entire game, I can assure you. Stats. Bing bong bing. I know I'm dumping it all into this, but there is a reason for that. I assure you. I promise you. Alright. We're going back up. We're going back up. Now this is where I came from, if I'm not mistaken, but we haven't actually had the chance to run back here. And these parts are going to be a bit longer since it is a 100% walkthrough. Okay, no, we're good. Alright, alright. Uh, comment below on your favorite character to use in this game or your favorite party to use. I'm interested to see. Encounter meter in some areas that I surround will appear as your chance of fighting a battle grows. Okay. I like to use Barathor Idriel Hadhood or Barathor Idriel. And I like Eoden. He's pretty cool, but I mean, I don't really want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't gotten too far in the game, so I'll. That's all I'll say. Triple crit, whoa. Oh, I gotta check their skills to see which ones I've been leveling. Let's see, skills. Shattering Shrike, yeah, I definitely want counter after this though. Company Valor, yeah. Haste of the Elves, you automatically want that. Haste of the Elves is really, really good. It's it's haste, I mean it lets your characters move move more and move uh, faster. Alright, here we go. The new area. I actually might cut it every time we get to a new area. I'm not sure though. We can keep this first part going since since it's the first part. Erigion Elven Outpost. Now let me actually see. Oh, we're still here. Collect elf artifacts. Galadriel's people crafted many great artifacts and weapons. Okay. Three warbands. So there's one warband that's somewhere around here, I believe. I 
There's that Eye of Sauron. Look at that. Look at all those crows. A man. Badly wounded. Wait for the wargs to approach. They'll kill him. Hold on! Hello, lovelies. He knew what he was doing. You live. No thanks to you. Can't you see I was hunting them? You want to use the crows? Lure the wargs in close. They kill faster that way. You were of the Dunedain. At your service, lady. You meant to help me, so perhaps you may. Perhaps you should finish off the rest of the pack first. And here's our third party member. Elagost, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a long time. Oh, yep. And he does... Like, his attacks are really good against creatures such as animals. He's, he's like a hunter. But he's really good for status effects. He can put the enemies to sleep, I think, with a Ranger. I can't remember if that's the one or not. But when you get that, he's really good. I don't know what tier character he is, but with that, he is... I'm going to use this because I want to uh, get haste of the elves or whatever the hell it was. Shattering Strike lowers their armor value. Really good. Fifty, forty. Let's use Creature Bane. Goodbye. Yeah, uh, don't forget to like the video. Let me know that y'all are enjoying this, so I'll keep on making making walkthroughs of this because I mean I, I enjoy the game so I'm gonna probably do it anyways bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. nearby enemies are glowing plants here will appear as you approach enemies make sure your party is prepared Ooh, okay This is like a warg nest, I believe. Oh, he's out of AP. How unfortunate. And if you see anything on the screen, see those, those... That's from the actual... Uh... What's the word? Sorry, I'm trying to think. Emulator. It's nothing that has to do with me. It's on my PC, so... Yeah. Let me use this, so I think I'll get Valor now. No, not yet. One more. And I saw someone else that was using the emulator in this game. It said that it happens early game, but it improves dr dramatically when you get further in the game. So I don't think we should... I don't anticipate too many problems. Maybe I did miss a pack down there, like a... Uh, uh, I hope I didn't, though. Perfect mode, blah, 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 okay. Perfect mode is good, but I don't really like to use it because... I'd rather level up my skills, you know? Unless I'm in, like, a boss fight, then I'll definitely use perfect mode. He deals some good damage. Hit this, so hopefully Idriel can can hit it, and or Elagos, whoever's up next. Hit 
get this. I don't anticipate using a bunch of her sword skills. It's mostly just going to be s speech craft and uh, her like healing and water attacks. I oh, will cross that bridge as we get to it. There you go. And what is he? I can't remember. Oh, man. He is melee and range defense, greatly increased security's max HP. Um, let's see. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I can just make a right over here and this will take me to where I was. I don't know, I'm confused. I have no idea where I am now. Okay, yeah, this is where I was. Let's look at our quests really quick. I think all of these can be in the same area because I definitely searched all down there and there was nothing. Okay. Now I think up is the way to go. No, it's not. Oh yeah, cool. Dead ends are always good. Taste of the elves, noise. Now I don't really anticipate using uh, Elagost a lot, only situationally. And you can switch characters in. Once you have more than three characters, you can switch them in, which is really good. I'm actually gonna use this so I can probably get company valor. Yep, there you go. And I think he's gonna level after this, so he's gonna get his AP back. So it was cool that I spent a little more than I normally would. Oh, not yet. He will level up probably next fight, though. All word packs destroyed. Noise. Slime of Orthanc. Is that a crow? I wonder where that other wild man pack is. I think it's up here somewhere. I want to say it is. If not, I really don't want to have to run all the way back down there. Because like I said, I'm going to 100% this for y'all. That's where we came. What brings you to this place, Ranger? I will tell you, but first we must make our way to one of the elves healing altars. Okay. We are going to go... Oh, yep, because there's a troll statue in the middle of this place right here. And this is where the other one is. It, yep, there it is. Ah, I see you have found our campsite. Yeah, so this yes, game coincides with the movies. No avail. His spy spotted us miles away. So maybe I will start to watch the cutscenes so that I can show y'all how but we everything on. ties together. We're seeking the easy southern route for the more dangerous passage over the mountains. But the White Wizard held other plans, and that route was denied us. Know this, Gondorian. We are not far ahead of your brave company. Follow Fellowship to Moria. I will save right here. Like I said, this first 
this first part will be a little longer than the others because you know the introduction everything like that This should be the last pack right here. I thought it was. Hmm. They're here somewhere. This might be it. Yes! Okay, cool. Oof. I attacked the wrong one, oh well. Yeah, they're, they're nothing now. They are just... Chumps! Meek! Nice crit. Look at that. That's what a couple levels can do. See how we were struggling, like, a couple minutes ago? Oh, bro, what? That didn't count. Okay. You have no idea how to build him, so I'm just kind of guessing. <clears throat> I guess they are actually... Yeah, I think I missed them. I, I might have to go back. Um, That kind of sucks. I wonder where they'd be. Huh. Oh, this part is... Yeah, see this, uh, screen tearing? The screen tearing was also in the, uh, the video that I watched a little bit ago. It was this area in particular. I'm gonna give some, him some haste so he can hit the guy in the very back. I wanna get that guy out of here immediately. Noise! Okay, so these are warriors. Man, y'all are tripping. We're too strong now. Even she's able to hit him, but I don't even, haven't even leveled her strength. Oh, yeet! I gotta find that... Let's go up. Nice, I chose correctly. Okay, just gotta look around to see if there's any items. Now we definitely will get that last band of wild men. It was probably in the corner somewhere and I just missed it. That's what's kind of annoying. Sometimes you have to get into the perfect spot to see where the enemies are. And it's just irritating. Lembas. Let's go over here.
Dude, this screen tearing is just terrible. Sorry. It's just the, the ga how the game works on this emulator. Let's go down here. There is nothing. Okay. And this... Okay. I thought this would be like a little boss fight, but it's not. That's cool. That's fine. Wow. Wrecked. Orc Bane, let's get you out of here. Link. Done. Alagost. Oh, okay. That was like a little tiny battle. What are you doing? You want to be sure they're good and dead. Some are mighty hard to kill. Not hey, even he's not even playing. Are safe. How do I know I can trust this one? I vouch for him. In the name of the Lady of the Galadrum. That's Galadriel. He's good enough for me. He's like, how do okay, I cool. know I can trust you? <laughs> Where did you get those wounds? At the hands of a Mordor orc, whose life I intend to shorten considerably. In the pass of Kahadras, we were attacked by goblins. We slew all but the orc, who escaped with something of great value to me. Who is this wee ranger? I was in the company of a dwarf. A friend, actually. And what did this orc take from you? You helped me slay him, and you shall find out. You rangers from the okay. north are full of riddles. And who are you to speak for a ruler of elves? You must help me return to Lothlorien and warn the Lady Galadriel of these dangers. Then you will know all. We should find one of the enemy's altars. After what I did to him, that orc would be in need of healing himself. Come, Gondorian. We shall attend to my matters in due course. Yeah, might as well watch this. Yes, you have found a place where the ancient spirits of air, fire, earth, and water who once graced this world may still be found. Some beings glide through the airs around you, timeless and wise. Mighty forces also stir the deep and can still be called upon in times of great need. Powers of fire and light bring life to this realm and are held by the wise as the most potent and dangerous forces. The Balrog. And great spirits of the earth. Okay, yet. I don't care. I can't do it. Sorry. It's just too much. Elf songs are elven artifacts that can improve attributes each character you put before. That's why you have to go over here. You have to find these artifacts. Action enhancement, she needs that. AP to 199, okay, cool. Now we go out here. <clears throat> There's a camp right there, so we're gonna fight something. So tell us, Ranger. Oh no, we're what just gonna camp. Up there in the pass? It was a bewitched fight. Voices echoing down from the mountains. Then lightning struck all around us. The dwarf fought like one possessed, but a landslide carried him away. Before he fell, he gave me a map. Presented to him by Elrond of Rivendell as a gift of friendship. But I could not withstand the dark powers that ruled the mountain that night. While I lay there burning, that Mordor orc ripped the map away and fled down the mountain. That map revealed the location of the secret entrance to a forgotten realm. Moria. Yes, 
The greatest city of the dwarves, whose location was lost during the Great Wars, and whose halls are rumored to still be stalked by a terrible monster. And what of the dwarf? If that map leads us to Moria's hidden gate, I expect we shall find him nearby. It would take more than a few goblins to stop that dwarf. Haha, <laughs> he ain't playing. No, I'm not watching that soon. Alrighty. Let's keep going. I'll probably end it sh shortly. Oh yeah, this is where the last band is. Yeah, let me look at the skills really quick. Counterattack. Oh yeah, definitely. What a Kai Bane. Yeah, I definitely want this one. Hmm, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you see, once you get later in, you gotta use skills like a hundred times. Batter, steel, helm. The warband should be up here. Like, I know I'm not going insane. No, that's where we have to go. We don't want to go there. Oh, you know what? The warband that I missed, I think, is on a little path. Yep. I missed that little path. It's a little offshoot off the main road. I think I know. Yeah. That's fine, I can always go back. Not right now, though. Probably once we beat the hero. Yeah, we're a little OP right now. Ah! Dorian Steel Greaves, you'll love to see it. Elf Stone of Health Enhancement. Give that to Idriel since she has the least amount of health. Do one in there. Hey, I'm not playing. I told you I'm gonna power level her. She's gonna be brazy. And there is a chest under these stairs too, if I'm not mistaken. I am mistaken. <laughs> no, I'm not. I knew there was something back here. Man, I really missed that band of uh What's it what the hell they're called, whatever. That's kind of frustrating. I mean I might have missed it technically, like we're still here. Getting this. Alright. I'll go for about an hour or so. We're at 55 minutes right now.
I don't think you can get down there. Yep, perfect way to end it, right here. We'll end it with this fight. Now, Mother of Crows is an insanely powerful attack. This is basically a boss fight right here. I want him gone immediately. Okay, so I can do this. Yeah, we're gonna use this. Hopefully this will finish him. Nice. I'll use Israel to heal Elagos. See, they can deal some damage though. They don't play. I can use Barathor to Elagos as my DPSs and then Israel is just my, my healer because yeah, Elagos is about to go down. Come on, Adriel, you need a turn. I need to get her speed up or something. She's way too slow. There you go, heal. Perfect. Orc Bane, goodbye. And it was a crit. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby! I was gonna say, a level up would be much appreciated. She needed that defense. She was a bit squishy. But Elagos is probably the most squishy. Let me see. Let's get this. Water protection? Okay. I think I have to go behind a waterfall or something to get that out of there. There's a chest right here. Can I go behind this? Nope. Can I go behind this? Nope. Okay, well, I'm going to cut it here. We're basically at an hour. I hope you all enjoyed the first part of my The Lord of the Rings, the third aid walkthrough. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch y'all in part two. Peace.